Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Citizen Ryan YouTube channel. Today we have such an interesting video. It is a review of Chroma Cube, a game created by a very own Dear Nate. You can go check out his channel and this game in the description below. Uh, there's a link where you can download it yourself and play. Um, it's super fun. I will tell you something though. This is the fourth time I've recorded this video. It has been wild. So. I'm using a screen capture here on my phone. It is stopping again. Oh, okay. Now I should be able to record for more than like two seconds. One, wait, one, two, three. Y'all, it has been such a struggle. So things like that have been going on where um, the phone wouldn't record the screen or I recorded the screen, but then I changed my OBS view. It didn't have audio in it. So, oh, it's been wild and crazy and really discouraging actually. After the fourth or third time I was like, I need a break. And it's worth it though, because this is a really cool game. Um, and if you want to watch how it was made, you can go check out Darren H's channel in the description down below. So it's a fairly simple game. It's kind of one of those Flappy Bird-esque where you have uh, an entity and you're trying to jump through some obstacles. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm not going to do the tutorial again. I'll show you exactly how I did it. I just hit start and jumped right in. So. In this game, the cube will actually jump by itself, and uh, what your job, okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll go to the menu to explain this. Your job is to uh, get as far as you can without hitting a wall um, and being drugged back and exploded by this red line of death on the left side. So it'll leap by itself, and then if you tap on the right side of the screen, you will do a double jump, and if you hold on the left side, you'll magnetized to the ground basically um, so let's give it a shot here I've been trying to beat my high scores um, and the first high score I got at all was three then I got 23 which I was really happy about and uh, then I had to beat 23 which I thought was going to be ridiculously hard and it was I got 43 and Folks, I spent the last 25 minutes trying to beat 43 and it is not happening for me. And what I found is if you hang out near like the top of the screen, you you tend to have an advantage because you can bring yourself down very quickly. Uh oh, so 28, not bad. I get on these like these jumps where I'm just waiting to hit the ground so I can jump again. But really, I need to just get myself to the ground so I can jump more quickly, if that makes sense. Like right there. Ooh, that didn't work out though. <laughs> Needed to get to the ground. All right, 14. Let's see if we can let's see if we can do this. Here we go. Are we gonna break 20? Looks like we're gonna break 20. Okay, now we just have to do it again. Oh gosh. Oh man. Was. No. Nine. I'm so inconsistent. The music is also really great. So, Darren you'll have to let me know. Did you make this music yourself? No, 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 no. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, one other thing, too, is you move the exact same speed as that red line. And there's no way to, like, run into a little power-up and move to the... Move ahead a little bit. Or even to... Um, and since you move the same speed, I think one thing that could be really cool as an option is if you turn on, like, power-ups or something. Maybe if you jump in the right spot, then you can grab a little power up and gain some distance back. Or if you, maybe you move slightly faster than the red so that um, you have to, uh, you, it'll obviously still kill you, but maybe you'll gain a little bit. You'll, you'll put a little bit, a bit of a buffer there until you make a mistake. And then of course it comes back and kills you. And I wonder too, if there could be, maybe it starts off like slow and is easy. And then you go through a checkpoint at a spot that's like faster. One thing I found was when uh, I made it as far as I did, there was actually a new type of block that was created. Um, or not, maybe not created, but that showed up. And that was like a spiky block. And it's not coming up this time. That's, oh, there it is. Guys, did we do it? Oh, 49. We did it. Woo! In like five minutes. <laughs> exactly five minutes. I just crossed the five minute mark. Yes. So I'm going to leave it right there. We're not going to touch it again. Um, I do want to show you one other thing, which is pretty cool. You can go in and by playing. So I've got a thousand dollars now or coins as it were. So I can actually pick a different skin or change the color of the background, which maybe I'll do that. Actually, I might change the color of, oh, that's no, the color of my, of my, uh, entity. Um, let's see. 
I will do that actually. I'm going to choose a color. Let's say, I think orange. I'm thinking orange is probably the one I want. Or gray, because, you know, gray is fine. But let's go with orange. It'll match our match our theme here. And I'll, I'll play one. Uh, I'll play at least one level here in, in, uh, in the orange color. See if it helps me at all <laughs> do any better. It would also be cool if you could customize that, uh, maybe that trail behind, behind the uh, cube. But no, those are all just uh, suggestions. This is really cool. Let's see, let's see, 16. All right, it's not a bad first run for the orange cube. Not gonna lie, we're doing all right here. Oh no, oh, those ones always get me. All right, 22. We will go ahead and end this one there. Guys, if you wanna play Chroma Cube, again, the link's in the description. Dare Knight has some amazing videos on how he created this. You can go check him out on his channel. Uh, he's actually got two. Uh, one's a Machinima channel. I'll link that one too. Why not? So, but yeah, let's support, support those in this community. And uh, I'm thrilled because it looks like my audio is recording. This recorded. I think we've got it all. Now I finally get to throw it together in like a five minute video. So that's perfect. Oh my goodness. It's been, it's been quite a first experience. I'm also going to stream this um i'm gonna stream my editing so if you guys want uh to be a part of that i've got a channel growing over on twitch i'm trying to get it citizen ryan right now it's rightism um so hopefully i can change that name soon but yeah we've got a fun community growing over there too so if you want maybe i'll be live you can go check it out and see i'll leave i'll of course i'll leave that link in the description too all right guys i will talk to you in the next video thanks for hanging out i'll see you around